Super High Budget Video Productions presents Creating a Questionnaire That's Fair. So how do we create a questionnaire that's fair, aka question fair? The first thing we do is we make sure that it will be understood the same by everyone. Everyone who reads that question on your questionnaire should understand it the same way. So for example, you don't want to use words like a lot because a lot can mean different things to different people. For example, hey, do you have a lot of shoes? A lot could mean seven to some people. It could mean 70 to other people. So don't use that word. Instead, say, how many pairs of shoes do you have? So be specific. Make sure that under, everyone can understand that the same way. Next thing is, every person should be able to answer. You want to make sure that everybody has at least one option they could choose. And a good way to do this is to have an other on there. So, for example, you might say, who is the best teacher you've ever had? Mr. Baker, G. Baker, Garth Baker, or other. Well, in this case, obviously, you probably wouldn't need that other, but just saying. All right. Lastly, we want to make sure it is fair and free from bias. Bias exists when something makes you think a certain way. So, for example, psychologists have found that people who use Android phones are the ones who score highest on intelligent tests. Which phone type do you think is the best? Android, Apple, or other? Now, this is something I just made up, but if psychologists are influencing your choice to pick an Android phone up in here, then you might go ahead and answer that on a survey. And that's not a fair survey. Instead, you just want to say, what is your favorite type of phone? So, to review, make sure that your survey is fair and it's free from bias. You want to make sure that every person can answer and you do that with an other. And lastly, you want to make sure it's understood the same by everyone. That is how you have a question fair.